Carolyn Herforth here with The Biz Truth. And I recently sent out a survey to thousands and thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs asking them if I were to create a freebie just for you, what would you want? And I got tons of responses back. And the one I'm gonna talk about today is the woman who asked me to talk about, she even gave me the title for it, the five mistakes that women entrepreneurs make and how to avoid them. I always talk about the five business mistakes that women make. Today I'm gonna talk about the five mindset mistakes that women make. Ready? The very first one is you don't take care of yourself. So it's so important to exercise and move and I am not this, I am definitely not a model of perfection. I can tell you that, but I move every day. Sometimes it's just to walk to the bodega to get milk duds, but I moved, okay? So run, kickboxing, yoga, biking, whatever it is for you, find some way to move. The second th mistake that I see entrepreneurs make is not being grateful for what you do have. Now, I can speak from experience that I'm so competitive with myself. I've had highs and lows in my career and in my businesses. And there are times where I'm like, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. And when you say it's not enough, that's guess what you're gonna get? You're gonna get more of not enough. So be thankful for what you have. I have a daily practice of a uh, daily gratitude practice. I'll give you an example. A couple weeks ago, I was talking to one of my clients who started selling a new package. And I was talking to her and she's like, Carolyn, it's just, oh, I'm just, uh, and, she, it, and she just was so frustrated with her, with the fact that she felt like she wasn't successful. And I said, well, did you make any sales? She goes, yeah, I made two sales, but they were only 200 bucks. I said, how many people did you call? And she said four. And I said, so you're not grateful for the fact that you have a 50% closing rate and you just made $400 that you didn't have the day before. And she's like, Oh, when you look at it this way. So I, her, her homework was to have a daily gratitude practice of writing five things a day that she's grateful for. And she can't repeat any of those five things ever. So have a daily gratitude practice. A third thing, mistake that I see entrepreneurs make is they get stuck in patterns. And the, this is probably the hardest thing to recognize yourself. So I have, I feel like I've been, through every personal development thing you could ever imagine. And I just had my life coach point something out to me recently that was a pattern of mine in how I was, I punish myself. I always think I have to do certain things and I kind of sometimes make certain things harder than I need to. And that's a pattern of mine. And so try to figure out what your pattern are. And it's really hard to find your own pattern. It really helps to have a coach and someone who's objective, see what that pattern is and help you help you through that. And the fourth thing is women don't give themselves credit for how capable they truly are. Just sit down. And I want you to just sit down and write out a big old brag sheet of how freaking amazing you are. And I don't care if it's going back to the first grade when you were the poppy queen, which I was. I don't think it really does anything for my resume, but there are days where it's like, wow, okay, well that was kind of a neat experience. It could be an award you got, it could be a recognition you got, it could be how you help someone grow their business or their change their life. Whatever it is, write out your brag sheet and remember how freaking awesome and capable and remarkable you are. And then the last thing, and this is the biggie, ladies, don't let fear drive your decisions. And that happens all the time. When I first moved to New York, I was putting on a big uh, event in the city. I was brand new here. And there were things that were going right and there were things that were going wrong. And I remember talking to my coach that day and she said, how long are you gonna let fear drive your decisions? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't get what you mean. And when you let your fear of success, your fear of failure, your fear of looking bad, your fear of rejection, your fear of anything factor into a decision why, why don't you just what if yourself into what something what's great instead of what if what ifing yourself into something that would be bad? So I just have to say that's that's a really big one. Don't let fear drive your decisions. And I'm gonna say yes, say yes instead of no. Say yes more often than no <laughs> to opportunities. 
that's more than five. So now that you know what the five or kind of six mindset, mindset mistakes are and what to do about them, I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you have a pattern that you've fallen into that you wanna share and you see other people making a mistake on. If you have anything you wanna to add to this list, I would love to hear from you. So answer it wherever you hang out. Just make sure you tag me, Carolyn Herforth, and The Biz Truth. Have a great day.